Hey y'all. Happy Thursday. Let me get my stuff situated and then we can start. Okay, so um, I guess I guess I'm ready. Okay, so today's gonna be a little different um, because today we're not really using any paint brushes. The only paint brushes you're using are your fingers. These are my painting gloves. So whenever I'm doing a finger painting, I typically use that. So we are going to paint um, wildflowers and just uh, blue bonnets. That's one of the biggest requests that I've been getting from a lot of you. So um, I'm starting on a canvas that's already painted this very vomit color, but uh, I just smeared all this paint on. It's just gonna be your base. It's not anything you know important. So um, <clears throat> let me just give you an idea. So it's gonna be like abstract wildflowers. So you're gonna use your fingers for this, fairly simple. So let me start out with the background. So first, <clears throat> kind of using an array of colors. So dark green, light green, yellow, red, blue, white, and black. So for your background, you're gonna start with a green, but first I'm gonna start with kind of the, this darker, well, just medium green, I guess. And I'm going to smear that on my canvas. And make sure when you're doing this, you have wipies with you because you're gonna wipe off your gloves. I don't throw these away. I always use these gloves whenever I'm doing some type of finger painting. But yeah, so if y'all don't have any gloves at home, um, I mean, not gloves, uh, like paintbrushes, this is uh, something that's ideal. And you can really uh, just use as big of a canvas as you want. It's really your preference. Okay, I need more green. This is gonna look very sloppy in the beginning because this is gonna be your background but you're gonna kind of fill in some of these colors right here. So I'm gonna dip just a smidge, my finger in the black. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of blend some of this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You're using your fingers. Let me hold it so I, I can show you. Wow, Jelena, that painting's really ugly. I know, because it's it's nothing right now. But we'll get to the flowers in a second. Once I start to put all this together. sure you get the sides um you want to get you don't want to leave your uh the sides of your canvas blank so in the event you ever want to hang them you want to be able to show off your masterpiece let me put this down for a second because i need more green and it's not supposed to look perfect um this is abstract okay now I'm gonna get some of the light green put it on the top Of course, when you're using any type of medium, um, or not medium, like if you're using um, like a paper or just construction paper or um, like painting paper, that's fine. The paint is gonna be a little heavy on it. So, whereas when you're using a canvas, you kinda wanna take your time when it comes to blending some of this stuff right here. Okay, I want my background to look crazy. Okay. 
And a lot of this is gonna be covered up in wild flowers. So make sure, like I said, you wanna have your wipies with you because you're gonna use this to wipe off your gloves because you don't wanna waste your gloves when you're painting. If you don't have uh, plastic gloves like this, you can really use um, uh, the like those yellow gloves, like the dishwashing ones, the cleaning gloves, I guess. Okay, here's the blue dryer. <laughs> I seriously don't even use this uh, blow dryer for my hair. I really <laughs> just use it for painting. Okay, so here's the fun part. You don't have to be like an experienced finger painting artist to do this. So I'm gonna do a lot of dipping with my finger. So I'm gonna dip in some of the yellow right here. And you wanna pick out where you wanna place your wildflowers. So maybe I wanna do some right here. And I'm doing a downward motion with my finger like that, okay? And then maybe I'll dip into some of the red a little bit and you can blend it so you can get some like a nice little orangey color. And you don't necessarily want some of the, um, you don't want it to look all red, all yellow. You do want to mix up some of this, uh, some of the colors here. So I'm just choosing yellow for this one. And then just make sure they get smaller up and on the top right here. And I'm just doing downward strokes, okay? This is something you can try with the kids too. Uh, finger painting is really fun when um, kids get to experiment a little bit. It does get a little messy, but um, I don't know, it makes, it makes great practice if you've never done it before. So I'm gonna dip back into some of the yellow and then kind of go up here, okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing probably up here. I'm going to do white, so just a little smidge of white on my finger and then kind of just drag down. If you ever feel like some of the um, paint is just messing with, it's like mixing with the other colors, just use your, your wipey. Okay, here we go. So start on top just a little bit and you see how small I'm doing these little smears right here. Okay, then I'm gonna go dip into some of the red, a little bit of the yellow. And you can just keep going back and forth. Like get some red and then get some yellow. Do you have a minor in art or is this... Hey, Horace. Um, I have, I guess, like, in order, a little a little baby associates. And then I had a minor in art just because I didn't really want to give it up in college. But that's my little, my little art story there. It's always been fun. I still haven't seen your stuff, Horace. I would like to. You gotta show me. So when you're using paint, um, you can really use any type. I'm using acrylic. You don't necessarily have to use acrylic. Um, so I'm pushing downwards a little bit. Uh, I would say some of the best types of paint is, are the ones that kind of, um, the ones that look like this, the ones that come in bottles like this, as opposed to these. These are very liquidy. 
So when you use these, you'll get the nice little texture. Um, and it, it just comes off as uh, creamier. You will someday. Yes! Show me! Hey, John. Okay. So, I think I'm going to add maybe another one right here. So, we'll start with the yellow. And I'm going downward. So, you want to start small up on top. I've heard of some artists, they double up their gloves. So they wear one and then they put another one on top because they say it tightens up. Um, it makes it tighter when you're painting. For me, I don't really have that problem. Um, so I'm just using the same one I always use. I mean, I guess technically <laughs> you can just use your regular fingers if you don't mind getting them dirty, but I wouldn't say so. You don't want them to stain. A little bit in the white. In the yellow. And I'm not really doing this in any particular order. I know for a fact that when I'm doing the reds, I kind of want them to be red on the bottom and then kind of get a little brighter up on top here. Okay, now let's do uh, some of the blue bonnets. So blue bonnets, when you see them, Sometimes they are blue, sometimes they look a little purple, so I am using a darker blue for this one. Um, and then just a little bit of black. Still looking for some Star Wars stuff, don't worry, I got you. I got you, man, just stay tuned. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off with blue. You can use purple if you want, it's up to you. But they're called blue bonnets for a reason, right? Okay, mixing some of the black and the blue. So I'm starting from the bottom first. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna kind of blend some of this up to give it some color. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of this blue with the black. I don't really have a personal preference in how I start, I just kind of do it. So when you notice uh, blue bonnets in general, they are typically darker on the bottom and then they go, they're like, they have some white on top. So I'm going to leave some of this blank. And I know this is starting to look like a, just a solid blue, but then we're going to go back while the paint is still wet. Dip in some of the black again. Okay, 
And then I'm gonna make this part all dark and then I'm gonna go over it. So let me just hold it so you can see. Then I'm gonna go back in some of the blue and add some color here. So hmm, I think I'm gonna add some white here when it starts to dry a little bit, but I'm gonna add some of this color here. Dip a little bit in the white. And I'm not really doing a lot of uh, precision here. Thank you, John. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, I'm just kind of going with the flow. So I know that for here, I kind of want this to be white. Okay, on the sides here. And a lot of it is just going back and forth with your colors here. So here, like while the paint is still wet, I'm just going downward. Remember, practice is all, exactly, it really is. I mean, that's the only way you really learn. Oh, I'm sorry, Susan. She said that it's hard to see the colors. Should I hold it? Would that be better? Like that, maybe. I know it's, it is a little wet. Oh, tell Chase I said hi. I hope he's doing well. Hopefully he's not, he's staying occupied. I know a lot of kids are going kind of stir crazy and being inside all the time. And so up here, I don't really want to fill in, um, I want to fill in some of the gaps, make sure there's no missing gaps here. But just keep going back and forth with your colors. I'm gonna dip in some of the black again. So downward strokes. So I think up here I'll just do, add a little bit of blue. So make sure when you're doing your brush strokes, <laughs> your finger strokes, um, they are downward.
On here, I don't really worry so much about blending. I just kind of go with it. Some black on there, it's okay, just wipe it off. You want to make sure some of this paint is uh, dry before you start doing your um, your finger painting. So I don't want to use too much white here, but Make sure they're downward strokes. So it doesn't, it's not, it's not too hard, just as long as you know where to put your colors. Hi Brandy, thank you. Okay, actually I don't want to do that. I'm just going to go back with some black right here. So I'm here, I'm gonna add some yellow to the top part of my wildflower. Anyway, I hope that was easy to uh, understand. But um, yeah, just something different. If you if you don't have any brushes at home, you can really do this. If you have some gloves lying, um, lying around the house or uh, cleaning gloves, if you don't have um, plastic gloves like these. Um, I don't know, try it out. Uh, practice makes perfect, I think. And just something fun, you know, while the flowers are in bloom for spring. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned tomorrow. Maybe we, we might do some uh, Star Wars stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, y'all. Have a great Thursday.